This story is called Donna O'Neeshuck Was Chased by Some Cows and it's written by Bill Grossman and illustrated by Sue Truesdell. I think it's quite a funny story. Donna O'Neeshuck was chased by some cows and also by mooses and gooses and sows. It happened one day when Donna at play patted a cow on the head. The cow got her friends and they started to chase poor Donna O'Neeshuck all over the place. They chased her through farms, through pastures and barns, around and around and around. She ran down the street past a uniformed cop. He blew on his whistle and made them all stop. Thank you, she said, as she patted his head and the cop started chasing her too. They chased her up roads full of buses and trucks. They chased her down rivers all covered with ducks. They chased her on bridges and ledges and ridges around and around and around. The voice of a cat in a treetop above her said, Quickly, young lady, come here and take cover. Climb up here with me. So she climbed up the tree and thanked him and patted his head. The cat chased her too. So she quickly climbed down. The others joined in when she got to the grounds. She barely was racing ahead of their chasing when a boy pedalled by on a bike. He slammed on his brakes and he jumped off his bike. Here, said the boy, take my bike if you like. Thank you, she said, patting his head. But he hopped on his bike and he chased her. They chased her past chickens and turkeys and birds through Bunches of buffalo running in herds, past foxes and bears eating apples and pears, around and around and around. She yelled to a horse with a pack on his back, Oh, please let me ride on your back in your pack. Sure, the horse said. So she patted his head and the horse started chasing her too. They chased her up sidewalks, they chased her down streets, they chased her through gardens of carrots and beets. Through windows and doors of houses and stores. Till she stumbled right into a doctor. The cows and the mooses crashed into the doctor who bumped into Donna O'Neeshuck and knocked her right through a wall. And the rest of them all went charging along close behind her. They chased her up mountains. They chased her down valleys. They chased her up highways. They chased her down alleys. They chased her for hours through bushes and flowers around and around and around. She ran and she ran just as far as one can. Then she slowed and she stopped and she threw up her hands. She turned and stood facing those folks who were chasing and said to them, What do you want? Head pats, they said. We want pats on the head. You give such incredible head pats, they said. They're so awfully good. We thought that it would be nice if you gave us some more. She gave them five head pats, they begged her for ten. She gave them ten head pats, they begged her again. So she patted away for most of the day. Then she stopped and sat down and looked tired. She said to them all, do you know what I'd like? Then the boy pedalled over to her on his bike and he patted her head. Thank you, she said. Then everyone patted each other. Now, head pats from anyone always are nice, but head pats from Donna O'Neeshuck are twice as good as the rest. Yep, hers are the best. I'm not sure that chasing her around and around and around and around was going to get them what they wanted, but it worked out in the end. Hope you enjoyed the story.